These are two of the best fitness trackers that $40 can buy you, and I think one of them may have more advantages and is the better one. Let's begin! Hey, how are you today? Really nice to meet you here, and I so much believe that inspecting cool tech can be quite fun, especially when we compare some of the best devices out there. These are among the absolute budget champions. Fitness trackers for less than $40 that can give you some amazing results. And we want to find out which of them is the better one. Before we dive into all of that, let me share with you two things. First of all, I've picked the seven most common categories based on your questions regarding trackers from the comments related to my reviews in the past three years. And secondly, before deciding which you like better and which one you should choose, Sit down and make a list with the top priorities that you favor the most. Without further ado, let me greet you and wish you a lovely day. And thank you for choosing my channel to get to know cool technology better. So here we are in round one, design and build quality. Both of the devices are plastic made and both of them have tempered glass on the screen. You can well notice that the Honor Band 6 looks more like a smartwatch in that sense. Bigger display with arguably better visibility. I believe here you have the choice between two major design streams, rounded screen versus square-shaped one. It's been like that for the series ever since they are on the market. Because materials are quite similar, so are the water-resistant ratings, I'd go the subjective way. In my opinion, Mi Band is less prone to scratching because the strap covers the sides and also feels better to the touch, has antibacterial strap if you choose the black color, and also it does look more like a fitness tracker. We have a winner here! Let's check what the next section has to bring. The display. Wow, choosing a winner here is gonna be challenging too. Based on specs, we may get the feeling that Mi Band 6 display is a bit larger because its diagonal is. But if you get a closer look, the usable surface on the Honor Band 6 is indeed better. I'm going to comment about the user experience when it comes to the features, so now if we purely focus on the display qualities, clearly the usage of space on the Honor Band feels better, there are more details to be seen, and the shape of the screen allows Honor to make better use of the display. We can notice a difference with the colors as well, and the peak brightness of Honor Band seems to be a little brighter. So, although there are close to 2000 more pixels on the Mi Band 6 display, this ain't enough to win this round and the score is now even. Next, we want to explore the battery life. Here the rules are very simple. The more things you track, the quicker the battery is going to drain. Luckily, with both of the bands you can achieve rather great results and you will rarely have to recharge. I usually enable all the auto-tracking features with bands when testing them. Of course, results often vary, whether you're often outdoors or not, to how long the display timeout is set, do you track exercises, is it summer or winter time, is the firmware up to date and all of these are important factors. Statistically, using them in the same conditions, Mi Band 6 usually is giving me a day or two more than Honor Band 6. Therefore, might be a close call, but that's another win for the Xiaomi Mate device. Let's take a look at the features now. It's clear that most fitness trackers in 2021 are quite capable, and based on specs, you can see that differences are very minor. Scrolling feels good in both, probably tad better on the Mi Band. Amount of apps? Kind of varies. Now, the most useful feature on the Honor Band 6 is, in my opinion, the physical side button. I very much dislike the lack of capacitive button on Mi Band's 6th generation. Swiping feels good in both, they can auto track workouts, continuous heart rate, and sleep cycles, even if there are daytime naps. Menstrual cycle tracking for ladies is present too. Mi Band has a lot more workouts supported. I was closely checking the accuracy of steps counting and HR counting on both. Concerning the steps, accuracy is great on both. From 1000 steps, the mistake is in the range of 5 to 10 steps. HR tracking is also good with both of them, but generally, because of the slightly better menus and user experience, this round's winner is Honor Band 6. Next, we move on to the smartphone apps. Believe it or not, this will turn out to be an easy win. Let's start with Honor. We still use an app called Huawei Health, and that already is a problem. Since a number of months, it's not updated in Play Store. So here's the first challenge. You need to download it from Huawei's App Gallery. You may also need Huawei Framework Services, so the installation on Android phones is tricky. 
For iOS users, I've also noticed a number of complaints because there are a lot of functions which are limited. Also, the Health app can only integrate with Google Fit, so there's no easy way to link it to other sport database apps, such as Strava. So I guess you can already sense that Mi Band 6 has the edge here, because you can use Mi Fit, a very capable and nice app if you ask me, with great customizations, plenty of features and, of course, well accessible in both Play Store and App Store. Also, you can use Amazfit's Zep app, which will let you link to services like Strava, and there are some third-party apps which can give you some further customizations on your Mi Band. So, software-wise, Mi Smart Band 6 is way above the competition. Right, so how about accessories? Well, if you wonder what I'm talking about, there are multiple straps and protectors that you can buy. If you need to give your device a fresher look and feel, get yourself a new strap. There literally are hundreds of different colorful models for Mi Band 6. Best news is that most straps for Mi Band 3, 4 and 5 may also fit However, there might be some exceptions. You can also get yourself a screen protector. Quite a good idea if you're a heavy user like my son. You can well see the state of the display of the Amazfit Band 6, which has virtually the same coating as Mi Band 6. As for the Honor Contender, there are somewhat less options. Not that easy strap replacement, although I like the design better, especially the buckle. And here, a screen protector is even more important due to the larger display surface. Thanks to the wider variety of bands, this is another win for the Mi Band 6. And before we wrap up, here's the last chance for any of these devices to win. Prices! They're extremely competitive. Both of the bands are very accessible at prices between $40 and $60, depending on the store, country and promotion period. And because of this, we call it a tie. Now, if you have been watching the episode carefully, you know the result already. So, before we do the summary, remember, these results are extremely close due to the many similarities and features that both devices share. And again, it is you to decide which are the top priorities that you favor the most. According to these comparison categories, Mi Band 6 is the clear winner. I believe it has better design, slightly better battery life, much nicer smartphone app options and tons of accessories. However, Honor Band 6 is not to be ignored with its nicer and brighter display and really excellent, close to smartwatch-like user experience. So it's your turn now. Which is the wearable that you like more, Mi Band 6 or Honor Band 6? Worth mentioning that Honor Band 6 and Huawei Band 6 are almost identical, so consider everything we've said about the Honor Band to be kind of the same with the Huawei device. And while I really can't wait to see what you will share in the comments, let me remind you that you can find links to both products in the description of the video with the possibly best prices you can buy them at. And would be much appreciated if you decide to support the channel. Subscribing is for free and definitely something to give you access to more cool tech inspections. Which I, Michael, gonna keep doing for you, my dear friends. So enjoy the day. Hope to see you soon. Bye!